describe that for us? Girls are gonna like me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was watching it. I think I think what he I, that's such an interesting question. Um Hi Jackson, hi Grace. Hi. hi. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you both and to talk about this really good series that I love it a lot. Crazy little, <laughs> Crazy little show. I love it. So now we're going to just tell the truth, right? So <laughs> tell me all the truth now. <laughs> so we Grace, don't know. We forgot how to do that. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, man. No, no, no. Come, come back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> so Grace, let's. This is a, a character a little different from what you played before. I, I talked to you for May Day. So yeah. what attracted you for this for this project? I I think I'm just so so drawn to layered characters wherever they may be placed in a in a story, and I think it's really rare to see that at at my age as a as a you know you don't see layered characters. Um, especially female characters in their late teens, you know, early 20s. And so always when I read something like that, I'm so drawn to it and intrigued. And especially having a show with such a complicated character and having them go through such an emotional journey was was so exciting to me to be able to do. Yeah, Jackson, your character is also really complicated. How did you approach like playing him? Uh, one step at a time, one one uh, manipulation at a time. I, I just, I, I don't know. I really just tried to um, uh, figure out who he was, what he comes from, and then how he deals with what he comes from, and how he externalizes that. And, and it's really, it's really um, uh, survival for him, and and every every interaction he has with people is in order to gain something in order to not sit with his own feelings um and i think just to play that i had to i had to sort of relax into that sit back be as still as possible not show too many of my cards and that's that's kind of what i thought he was on paper um and then uh, sprinkle in as much of yourself as possible so he has some life to him. yeah we do have a lot of like sex scenes and i know that you guys have an intimacy coach on set how is like work with that experience like how is this experience for you uh grace yeah i we were just saying how it's it's so interesting that the scenes that should feel the most natural and spontaneous are the most technical and choreographed scenes of the entire show and um in having an intimacy coordinator was was very helpful and made it feel very safe and comfortable um and and was yeah it was very comforting knowing that somebody was looking out for us and, and making sure we were we felt good about everything that there were no surprises yeah yeah you can yeah you can better notice that i i knew that you have a coach but the scenes are really good like well done you don't oh, thank you. Not, not much choreography like you can okay it. good that's good <laughs> so yeah. now jackson from the point of view of your character steven mm. what is this series is really about from his point of view yes whoa <laughs> from his point of like if steven was watching this show yes yeah how how he he who described that for us girls are gonna like me <laughs> wow he was watching it. i think i think what he I, that's such an interesting question um i i think it's i think it really is about um this young woman's entanglement with with someone who unlocks something in her that she didn't expect to unlock and 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 how that affects everyone around them and it turns into this big web of lies uh i think he's probably more interested in making himself feel better that's steven's goal is he does not want to sit with a feeling he does not want to sit with uncomfortability he wants to feel better so everything he's doing is trying to forget his past uh put things aside um you know forget about his family life his traumas he's just trying to keep moving and keep swimming sort of like a shark yeah and and for you grace 
what think uh, Lucy thinks about it this series. <laughs> she probably wouldn't watch it. Um, <laughs> she, I think I think the story I, I'm hoping that everyone feels like a Lucy when they're watching it because I think everyone has been in a situation like that and has been caught up in in some sort of addictive toxic relationship whether it's a friend or a, a partner or whatever it is um and I think everyone will really be able to relate to it and hopefully learn that that honesty and communication is the way to get out of anything like that and if if Steven and Lucy and their whole group of friends were to really just speak their minds and communicate no, none of this would have ever happened so exactly exactly you see all the truth there you guys it's told all the truth, truth. <laughs> i just want to thank you so much for your time a lot thank of success so always and i cannot wait for watch the remaining episodes thank, thank you so you much so much thank Bye. you i'm steven i'm lucy you are killing me address people used to call me an ice queen you used to call you an ice queen why i can be cold you're not cold it's your freshman year you should be having fun well maybe you can be my distraction steven is really into you i don't know if he's my type I am not someone who gets very excited about things. Sometimes it feels like I'm watching other people experience things. Exactly. Hey, do you want to come out? No, I'm going to stay in tonight. See what happened? I shouldn't have let her go to home. That's not your fault. <laughs> I really don't want to be in here alone. You're okay. I'm here. You care about me, right? I know I do. Who is that? That's Stephen's girlfriend. There's a lot about him that you don't know. I don't know what to believe. I really care about you. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.